In 1918, Germany, lacking manpower and supplies and faced with imminent invasion, signs an armistice agreement with the Allies in a railroad car outside Compiègne, France, ending the fighting in World War I. In 1919, the U.S. and many other nations around the world commemorate the first Armistice Day, celebrating that World War I ended one year earlier. Celebrations include parades, public meetings, and a brief suspension of business beginning at 11 a.m. In 1921, exactly three years after the end of World War I, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is dedicated at Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia during an Armistice Day ceremony presided over by President Warren G. Harding. Up next is the answer to yesterday's quiz. In 1954, the U.S. celebrates its first Veterans Day, expanding Armistice Day as a day to honor all veterans, not just those from World War I. On that day, 50,000 men and women from coast to coast are sworn in as new U.S. citizens in what Life magazine calls the first time in U.S. history that citizenship was conferred upon so many people in so many mass ceremonies. In 2018, on the 100th anniversary of the armistice that ended World War I, more than 60 world leaders, including U.S. President Donald Trump, gather for a commemoration ceremony at the Arc de Triomphe in Paris, France. And now, it's time for our Today in History quiz. Nazi leader Adolf Hitler was arrested and imprisoned for trying to overthrow the government in which German city? Munich, Berlin, Hamburg, or Frankfurt? Think you know the answer? Drop your guesses in the comments below. Find out if you're right tomorrow on Today in History.